Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your late May soul connections in separation love reading. This is for those of you who are in some sort of deep soul connection and um, this is likely a connection where you've never felt this strongly for a person in your whole entire life. You are very drawn to them. You feel very, very connected to them. You may not understand why. It's probably very mysterious to you. And there is an obstacle in the two of you coming together. You're likely in separation and probably not in communication at this time. If this is not your story or if you're looking for new love or you don't want your person to come back, then this is not your reading, okay? This is going to be a general reading. It is not going to resonate with everyone and the energies can be reversed, you guys. If you would like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below and you can click on the link and be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. When booking, please indicate in the notes if you would like a phone reading, a Zoom reading, which is recordable, or a pre-recorded. If you would like a pre-recorded, please Put in the notes your zodiac sign, your person's name, their zodiac sign, and a very brief description of, you know, any important details, how long you've been separated, how long you've been in non no communication, if you were married, if there's a third party, et cetera, et cetera. All right. I have about 10 new decks and they're not linked below you guys, so I'll try to remember to call them out if I don't shoot me a comment and then I'll let you know which decks I'm using. Okay, so beginning to start off with, we've got Reconciliation. This is from my Magical Times Empowerment Cards, and this says, remember the source of love. A loving action is all you need to begin the process. Reach out with a simple first step. So this is a really beautiful energy, and this is about the possibility of coming back together with your person. We also have the Cycles card. We are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. So that just says that you're growing. You're ascending. You're leveling up. This is um, purple. And so it's related to the sixth chakra. And um, that is about wisdom, intuition, guidance. And this is asking you to release your fear. When we hold on to fear, it actually keeps us stuck and it will keep us from moving forward. So if you are in a place of fear about your person, it is actually going to block this potential reconciliation. So that is something for you to go within about, you guys. We also have from the Dragon Oracle deck, Thor's red, black, and gold dragon. It protects you in times of change, and there is change coming up right now for this connection, you guys. A time of rapid transition and transformation. Relax, you are safe. So this is saying that you are divinely protected at this time. This connection is divinely protected. If you guys are not meant to come back together at this time, spirit is not going to allow it. And it's for your own protection. I really want you to take that to heart. If the connection is not coming back at this time, it is because spirit has not deemed that it is the right time. And it's for your highest and best good. We do have this difficult energy. This is from my Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck, and this is Facade. And the title to this card is, This Isn't Who I Am. And what this says is you may be cut off from your feelings right now, and it may be a challenge. This is about recovering who you are and rethinking your journey. So, you know, it's, it's about letting go of this fear and just believing that you are safe, that is going to increase your personal power um, because the yellow is related to our solar plexus chakra. That's our personal power center. It's our life force energy. It's our willpower. It's our creativity. And this is, um, 
You know, talking about childhood pain, reclaiming your life and healing childhood pain. So what I'm getting is there could have been some deep wounds that were created in childhood for you or your person. And so because of that, you have really sort of um, stuffed down that willingness to be vulnerable, to show the real you. And instead, you've thrown on a mask and you're living through a facade. We all do it to some extent, but this is really asking you to release that facade. It's gonna be very, very important if you want to reconcile with your person is what I'm getting. So the final card is from my Mystic Sisters deck. This is a brand new deck and we've got Dragon Goddess. This is about prosperity, acclaim, and fortune. And this says the mythic dragon is a symbol of good fortune throughout many cultures. Your generosity and efforts have not gone unnoticed by the universe. And the dragon goddess is here to offer you a streak of luck. Although many rewards come to us through our hard work, sometimes wonderful things come to you out of the blue for no apparent reason at all. A period of abundance, success, and prosperity is upon you. Act boldly and have courage to try something you have never dared to try before. You will notice your vitality and level of joy increasing. Be open to receiving gifts as much as you are thrilled to give. Meditate on your lucky star above and keep it in mind as you move about your day. Um, <clears throat> act boldly. I am really feeling that this has to do with um, taking this mask off not living through this facade anymore. So I'm gonna put that card back and I'm gonna reshuffle and I'm gonna see if your person is mirroring you Pisces. Oh, and we've got two cards. This Gypsy Queen has been coming out quite a bit. So we've got Gypsy Queen and we've got Bridget or Brigid. Brigid looks really powerful. So these are going to be messages for you. And this is also how your person is seeing you. Um, so Brigid is inspiration, revelation, creativity. So this is, she's offering a flame of inspiration. So the way I see that is like the ace of wands. So this could be a passionate new beginning that your person wants to have with you because we do have this reconciliation card. And it's also, you know, the flame could represent uh, a spiritual awakening, the beginning of a spiritual journey. And we do have these other cards that are, you know, just letting you know that you are safe, you're protected. You might also, your person might also see you as very, very creative. Yeah, this is really about, um, by following the instructions of your muse, you will find your soul is nourished and a greater meaning to your time on earth is understood. I really feel that this is about a spiritual journey for you, Pisces, and, um, this is just telling me that your person does see you as very spiritual. They're very attracted to you and they are wanting a, a new beginning um, with the reconciliation coming through. So let's see what the Gypsy Queen has to say. Karma and self-assessment. Drawing this card calls upon you to practice focused and honest self-assessment of your intentions and actions. She now has a clear course of action to take to improve her karmic path. She's aware of her character defects that are in need of improvement. And so this is really about looking at, um, you know, it, it's almost like the judgment or the just, it's almost like the judgment card in a way. It is a self-assessment of how we've been living our lives, you know, our belief systems, our choices that we've made that create karma. And karma is just, 
you know, for every choice that we make, there's a consequence. And, you know, that, that is essentially what karma is. So our choices really create our life. And so this is your person really looking at the choices that they've made with respect to you and this connection. And they, I would say that they are learning some lessons and they are changing. They are integrating these lessons that they're learning. They've probably been going within about this connection. Oh yeah, they have been because we've got the Eight of Cups. And so one of you, they walked away from you, you walked away from them, but this is about a journey of the self. It is walking away so that you can discover what is going to make you happy. And what I'm feeling is you or they walked away and the journey is leading back to you. You are what makes them happy. You are who makes them happy. And, you know, this is a, a beautiful card of evolving, which I feel they are. And then we've got the Queen of Swords. And this is, you know, really about um, cutting out those things that aren't serving you anymore. They could be, um, so with, yeah, with the karma, with the Gypsy Queen, the karma assessment, they could really be going within and looking at those things, those beliefs, um, people, things that they need to release from their life. And it's almost like um, they have discovered the truth on this journey. They've discovered the truth of this connection. They've discovered the truth of their feelings for you. Beautiful. And then we've got winter. Something could have happened between the two of you during the winter time. And then we've got release. And I see the queen of swords as, you know, cutting through things and also releasing things, cutting those things out, releasing. It's the same thing. So what I'm feeling here is the winter card can also indicate sort of like a frozen energy and your person may be wanting to release that frozen energy, thaw things out so that they can come back to you because this is very opposite. We've got ice and we've got fire and I feel like their desire for you is going to help thaw out this ice, this frozen energy. So let's see, um, let's see what, where they are on their journey, Pisces. The moon. The eight of pentacles. Wow. That's pretty powerful. Um, the moon is about things that are kind of hidden things that have not been revealed just yet. It can be about fear. It can also be about intuition. I'm not feeling the fear so much. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is like um, the Illumin... I'm sorry, you guys. I would think this is the Illuminati Tarot. And this is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck, in case I didn't say that. With the Eight of Pentacles coming through, um, this is like the apprentice, the student. It's about dedicated work. It's about learning. It's about honing your craft. And so with it coming up next to the moon, where they're at on their journey, I feel that they are learning a lot of things about um, how their choices really impact their life, how their belief systems impact their life. And it's really, it's really a, a beautiful energy. Um, they're learning, they're growing. And 
I am feeling that one of the things that they may want to be releasing is fear because we did get this message about fear. It's like releasing your fears and just believing that everything is going to turn out the way that it is supposed to turn out. Yes, there's been pain. Yes, there's been disappointment, but spirit is protecting you and this connection and your person at this time so yeah they're learning and growing and they know that many things have still have to be revealed to them um beautiful and then we've got offer and this is coming in under the eight of cups so it's and then we've got new direction so they i feel like once they really start integrating all this information that they're learning about um, spirituality, about karma, about consequences for their actions, once they really, how their, how their belief systems hold them back, how their conditioning holds them back, I feel that um, they are going to want to come towards you to make an offer and take this connection in a new direction. So that is really beautiful. Let's see. I'm going to take this back down. I'm going to reshuffle and see what is challenging your person. Two cards. Gratitude and forgiveness. This is challenging them. Um, wow. And that is related to the third eye chakra. This is interesting. I want to see what else comes through because nine of swords. Okay. And that's under offer. That's about anxiety. And then six of pentacles. That's under new direction. That is actually really beautiful because that is about reciprocity equal give and take. So what I'm getting here is um, forgiveness is challenging them. They do want to communicate with you, um, but they are losing sleep about it. They're not sure that you're going to forgive them. Um, it's almost like they're tormented. Um, they're, they are grateful for this connection. They're grateful for the spiritual lessons. But at the same time, it is kind of tormenting them. It's been very difficult on them to just go within and do this work and learn these lessons. It's been, you know, it's not easy, especially when we have to look at things about ourselves that we don't necessarily like. And there could be truths revealed from childhood, repressed memories that come up, um, you know, past life memories that come up. Something like that is what I'm feeling. And then we've got the cycles card. This is like the world card, and that is the successful completion of a cycle. What I'm really feeling is that they are wanting to release so much um, from the past, and it, it they're just ready for this new beginning with you, this passionate new start with you. They want to make you an offer, move forward in a different direction. They want things to be really different between the two of you this time around. Let's see. Messages from their higher self. I bury myself in work to forget you. What I'm really feeling from that with the eight of pentacles card coming up is they have thrown themselves into um this you know this work not not work as in a job this spiritual work this is what i'm feeling we both know i'm not the one for you this is the fear coming through um and this is why this is why the forgiveness is challenging them. The fear is coming through that you're not going to want them anymore. And then I want to tell you how I feel. So yeah, this is the, the anxiety coming through. Okay, let's see. I wanna get a couple more messages from their higher self to you. 
the Queen of Cups. Yeah, they definitely want to tell you how they feel. They have deep love for you. And then we've got the Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, this is them fearing more pain within this connection. If they tell you, they want to tell you how they feel, but they're fearing the worst. They do not want to experience that pain again. Okay, so these are messages from spirit. What does Pisces need to know about this connection? Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. And the Queen of Swords is very much about boundaries. Knowing what's good for you, knowing what doesn't serve you. And then time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. So that's just telling me that it's not quite time for this reconciliation. And then rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, with the Eight of Cups, it's like the spirit, spirit intervened and it is about divine protection. It's like there was something within the connection that wasn't, um, wasn't healthy. What didn't, um, what am I trying to say? Um, there was something within the connection that would not allow you guys to move forward in a healthy way. So one of you had to walk away in order to do this, you know, self-assessment, this karmic self-assessment so that you could, could work on that, your belief systems, whatever that is. Do the work so that this connection could come back around. Their intentions are to bring you justice, to balance the scales. The Ten of Wands, after this difficult cycle, those are their intentions. Resolve the karma. Third party. There could have been a third party situation between the two of you. And then we've got the metamorphosis. This is like the death card. So they're wanting to transform this. So maybe they needed to release someone in their life because this third party card comes up. This is not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, they may have been with someone else or you may have been with someone else, but they are, this is part of the releasing. I feel that this winter card is here because one of you was with another person. Maybe both of you were, it's going to be different for everybody, you guys. And it doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. It can be, um, you know, a child or or a parent or a boss or a job or something that is interfering within the connection. But there's some sort of transformation with this third party that needs to take place. And it's going to, it's going to bring about profound change within the connection. This is their intention. And it's going to bring justice to the situation. It's going to balance the scales. It's going to be like a karmic uh, resolution between the two of you. So this is beautiful. This is, these are their intentions. So let's see. What's in their heart. The three of pentacles. They want to build something with you. That, you know, that is coming in under the justice card. So for some of you, yeah, this is about a third party situation 
And after going on this Eight of Cups journey, it's like they realize the error of their ways and how, um, and they're understanding why spirit had to break apart this connection because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. So there was divine intervention. It's like, no, you can't, you know, if one of you is with another person, um, that's, that's gotta be released before this connection can really be built on a solid foundation and you can move forward. So two, two messages there. Then we've got the princess of pentacles. This is like the page of pentacles and this is interesting. So we've got the three of pentacles and the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is about thoughts and ideas for the future. So they're just thinking about how they can build this solid foundation with you how you guys can build a future together. And then we've got numbing under the third party. What else wants to come through? Healing. So however they've been numbing themselves, um, we did get this card about work, burying, them, burying themselves in work. That could be um, how they've been numbing it's going to be different for everybody. It could be drugs and alcohol, um, you know, watching TV excessively, um, fo just focusing on other things just to numb out the pain that they've been feeling. With the healing card here, they are working on healing this. They know it's necessary before you guys can reconcile. Now let's see, um, let's see how the universe is supporting this connection. The King of Cups, this is about mastery, emotional mastery. And the Princess of Wands, this is the Page of Wands. This, I just feel that as both of you master your emotions, it's going to allow you to move out of like that five of cups energy and into, you know, a place of being very excited and curious about this connection. And then we've got free will. So what I'm feeling is, um, Spirit just allowed you guys to walk away and go on your own journeys and really kind of figure things out on your own with their help, of course, but, and then we've got the divine feminine. This just came up for Aquarius too. So this is about leveling up. We've got Divine Feminine and King of Cups. So this is really about being, being curious, being curious about this journey, but doing it in your own time and really going through the awakening process as, as you feel comfortable. That's, that's what's coming to me. I know that's kind of a weird message, but not pushing yourself, not pushing yourself and just sort of allowing it. Hang on, you guys. Sorry, you guys, that was my doorbell. So I want to see um, what a potential outcome is for this connection in the near future. Lots of wands energy. Oh, we've got the divine masculine and we've got the summer card. So we've seen the summer and the winter card. Interesting. Um, we've got the seven of wands and the two of wands. And the seven of wands, it's like, if you look at this guy, it's like, whoa, he is like, defending himself, not giving up, like he's feeling unstoppable. Like I am not going to let these six wands take me down. 
So that's incredible. It's like, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to fight off these other wands and I am going to then make a decision about my path forward. Beautiful. And we've got the divine masculine and summer. So with the divine feminine and the divine masculine coming through, um, this is beautiful. It's like you've both been doing your work and you're both raising your consciousness. There is karma being resolved within this connection. It may have been slow going, but it is being resolved. So there is definitely a chance for reconciliation and there could be progress made within this connection during the summertime. So this looks really positive. Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it did resonate, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell if you want to be notified the next time I upload. And I'd appreciate your comments. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're all safe and well, and I'll see you soon. Sending love. Bye-bye.